Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I've got another review for you guys and it is on the new Marc Jacobs, um, this is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I got mine in the color 10, which is just Noir Black. I got mine as a sample. So the product um, is gonna look a little bit different as far as the packaging goes from the sample to the full size product, but I was so excited to try this product, you guys. And I wasn't too excited after I tried the product. So let me show you guys the brush. And hopefully that's going to show pretty good what it looks like. From the description online and from just looking at the brush, I thought, hey, maybe this is going to be kind of like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which I absolutely love. I love the wand. I thought the wand was pretty similar to, to the Marc Jacobs one. And I would say the very first day that I tried the product, it actually went on pretty good on my eyelashes. It made them look good. It made them look full. They were black. And I was pretty happy with it. Once I continued to use the product day two, day three, day four, it seems like the formula got thicker. So I would apply my first coat and my lashes would be clumping together already. And... That's with me taking a little bit of the excess off and wiping it off on the tube. And it just, they started getting that clumpy look. They didn't look good. They didn't have that separated look. Um, it just looked like I had put way too much mascara on. And they just, it was not working out good for me whatsoever. I I had such high hopes for this mascara. I've never tried a Marc Jacobs mascara before. And I thought, hey, if this is going to be anything like my Too Faced mascara, I'm going to be in love with it. But I just, I don't know what it was. Day one, it seems like the mascara goes on really great and really pretty. And my eyelashes looked amazing. Day two, day three, day four, it just, it fell apart after that. I can't, I can't use this mascara because of how bad it just clumped together. And just too much formula was coming off. And I was just wiping it off. And I don't think with the mascara, if you're paying this much money for a mascara anything over 20 bucks for a mascara, you shouldn't have to really just scrape and scrape it off the brush in order to apply it to your lashes to get that really nice um, separated volume look on your lashes. When they just start to look cakey, that's just a bad look and you don't want to go there. So I couldn't even put on two coats of mascara after my first day. It just... It was no good. Now, however, maybe if I were to um, kind of dry out the mascara a little bit, sometimes I have heard that if you dry it out just a little bit, that kind of dries out the formula a little bit better and then it goes on much better for you. But for that price point, it, that's not something I'm willing to do. So unfortunately, this mascara is a no-go for me. I won't be repurchasing. Well, I won't be purchasing the full size since I got it as a um, 100 point, um, point perk at Sephora but this will be a no-go for me. Um, if you guys have any um, comments, if you have tried it and you liked it, maybe I used it wrong, I don't know, but for me, I, I thought I used it a couple different ways and it just was a no-go on me, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.